And it is day 14 of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, and the games continue. We are on the final days now. Joining us live from Tokyo is our Olympic game correspondent, Justin Sternsey. Well, good evening, Justin. We are approaching the end of the games, and steamy temperatures continue in Tokyo, hitting those 90 degrees almost every day. And this heat is prompting organizers to move soccer and other d events. So tell us, what is the plan right now? Yeah, well, great question and point there. It is. The heat has been a nemesis to all of these events, especially the ones outside. But, you know, to anyone covering the games as well, uh, today was by far the, the hottest day that we faced here just covering the games. And you can feel it. 95 degree temperatures, but with the heat index, it was feeling about 110 degrees during the beach volleyball. 129 coming off of that beach. They had to water it down, cool things off for those athletes. But uh, fortunately, Team USA, the women able to get the gold in the beach volleyball. Regardless, Alex Klein and April Ross uh, doing a great job there. But um, the women's soccer match, we should already know and have a gold medalist and a silver medalist because that match was supposed to happen at 11 o'clock here in Japan in the morning. But now it's going on right now because it is much cooler. Uh, they're, they're away from those 95 degree heats. It's probably about 88, so a little bit of a breather there, but much better. That's great, Justin. Well, despite the heat, I know that many of us here would love to be in your position. So tell us what has been your favorite thing about covering the 2020 Tokyo Olympics? Yeah, the first thing is, you know, so many people thought that this wouldn't even be here. Now we're just a couple of days away from the end. So taking away just the perseverance, the dedication, and uh, determination from these athletes to see their smiles, whether they made the podium or not, just to know that they had a chance to accomplish their goal despite the pandemic because everything was so uncertain, just day-to-day -day life, let alone when you're trying to compete as an Olympian and make it here to Tokyo. So whether it was, you know, uh, Ryan Krauser uh, throwing throwing a record shot put and winning the gold medal or you know someone that you know didn't even make it past the qualifiers just being here was an accomplishment and a victory in itself because of what we're facing as an entire planet um, so that number one was definitely amazing and then two just the culture and the people here they're so accepting and hospitable and patient with all of us you know not speaking the language but to go into a restaurant and have the owners just help us out and what they recommend and then just how delicious the food was and how different it was too it's adventurous trying new things but uh, you know it, it's worth it because this culture is so incredible I hope that they get a big event sometime soon when the pandemic is over because the people are deserved of that well, that was an adventure indeed. Thank you so much for joining us, Justin. We really appreciate it. And it has been a pleasure to have you here at KTSM. And safe travels back home. All right. Give my love to all the people in El Paso. Thank you, Justin.